you would want to be part of. We're looking at the influx of hookup guys and girls. Is it the new level of prostitution? So I hook a girl for you, but do they hook girl to girl? Is, is it happening? Girl yeah. to girl? Well, I mean, no, they, 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 they go in pairs. Oh, okay. Really? How's that? You see? Akuma, tell us. I'm telling you. I didn't know about this. I have to ask. Good. Yes, yes. She's they, 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 they go in pairs. Mm -hmm. You're my friend. Mm -hmm. So the hookups, we do it on the social, what, uh, like, um, there's an app? Not app. On but social media. Yeah, on social media. Yeah. Link in, you can get beautiful, handsome, Oh. You know, uh, really? to hook up mm. Facebook, WhatsApp, I mean, all the groups. Okay. So we are together, right? Mm -hmm. So whilst I'm discussing, I tell the guy, Charlie, my sister, I told you, I'm, I'm beautiful. Mm. You know, so, oh, oh sir, so you have many? We have three beautiful friends. We are, we are sisters. We are coming. Wow. Wow. And then you know the interesting thing? The pictures which they see there, they are not original. You go and then go and meet the guy and say, hey, well, I didn't know <laughs> You know, my cousin does Uber. So, 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 so that's the word. Uh, my the cousin does for Uber. And then I wouldn't mention the area, mm. but they got there, and then it's like the conversation was, hey. So the lady called the guy, and then. So the, then the guy gave the description that I'm in yellow and blue shirt. So when they go say, reflect it. Yeah, where do you mean man come on macra? Ah, pay me. Yeah, driver I do. Then I was ah, no one even knows there be a hookup here. Ah, you know, so I I I don't know what is coming. I don't know what is happening. Like, Listen, why, eh? why do they so, do it? So do the they question, do it for money the, the or Oh yes. The question is if it's another level of prostitution. You know? Ah. So others will say it's not. Others will say yes, it's another it level. Is. But if you ask the thing is, if what, you ask what me, is it is. It is. Prostitution is having, giving yourself away having for money. sex and getting paid. Yes. yes. That with, is different with different men, men and, and different, different women. women. Mm. So it is prostitution. The only difference between mm -hmm. this and the other one is that you don't stand by the roadside. That's all. Mm. This time around, we've gone international. Yes. <laughs> we've advanced. <laughs> We're in a digital world. Yeah. Yeah. This is the roadside. The, the roadside is gone. Oh. We are you go straight to the house. Digitalization. No. <laughs> so we digitalize <laughs> no. the Rosalind, Rosalind. Now the prostitution <laughs> is in, in about tenfold. Let me sit well. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Open your the ears, everybody. <laughs> it's in about tenfold. Wow. We have those that are in the hood. Mm. All right. When everybody is going to work, like the house girls and house boys, <laughs> when master, madame is not in, the house is theirs. And then they do it. I mean, they make love to themselves, cook, eat, drink, and that they are bossu. Hey. That is when you, the woman in the house, your five cents or the six cents as you're watching is mm. not working. Mm. And you leave everything to the house help to do everything Thanks. for you. Mm. Now, when you are out, she calls a friend. Or call, madam will call. Mene magajia, so come home. She will cook every drink. You don't even go to the store and check your stock. All she does is, madam, this is finished though. That is finished though. You don't, because you are busy looking out for money, that even your kids will not come and enjoy. I see. You understand? So that is one level. Mm -hmm. The second level is <laughs> those who dress nicely, go to the offices, mm -hmm. and then she will tell you, oh, this is the business I'm doing. Then when she gets to you like tete-a-tete, -tete, oh, boss, hmm, it's difficult. Oh. I have three kids. There's nothing I can do. So even if you can help me. And then the men too, when they see beautiful things, eh? Then, <laughs> easy. So... For me to give you the money free, mm -hmm. then it has to happen. Mm -hmm. That level is there. Mm -hmm. We even have those who go to the church places wow. and then lure some of the pastors who are not really godly. Hey! What? <laughs> <laughs> My sister, they are dressing alone. Hey. They are makeup alone. Hey. The kind of perfume. Oof. I'll see the, the, the man of God after, for consultation after church. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know God mm -hmm. and you're not strong, mm -hmm. in your office, mm -hmm. that lady, that woman will rape you beautifully, nicely, <laughs> romantically. <laughs> Is there anything like beautiful rape? <laughs> oh, yes, because you must scream. 
you would enjoy. And by the time you say Jack, everything no. about you is gone. That's true. So, ladies and gentlemen, at this moment, we are, we are, we are hearing levels of prostitution. Yes. I, I didn't know this. Before levels. this hook. And then we have, you see, sometimes on social media, mm -hmm. let me tell you. I am a beautiful young girl into lady, into woman. Right. Sometimes they, they are bodies that they show. They are selling themselves. And they get the men to get them. How? I am telling you. How do they do it? How do they do it? Yeah. But they front your body. Okay. With just some, you know, little lingerie or something. And the person will be fronting, be shaking and that. The oh. guys will call them. Okay. They chat with them. Mm. Another level of prostitution. If that's not the case, why do you want to go and pay? To get something that God didn't give to you. Mm. I don't want to be mentioning things. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. You get me? Yes. It is prostitution. Crystal clear prostitution. I am <laughs> telling you. And you can't say a hoot about it. Okay? Yes. He shall let this kill. And then the threesome and the foursome are going on. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Foursome? Oh, yeah. They because the lady alone can cook, I mean, the guys. And you forgot that way we they can, go. We can confidently say that that's the person's job. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, that's, that's your profession. It's gone to a ne next level, oh, so my wait, dear. But what causes I, I it? Is, is, it, right is it poverty? It's not poverty. It's laziness. How? <laughs> How is it laziness? It's laziness. You don't want to work. Okay. And if you're not Look, content. Okay. Yes, what do you have? Mm -hmm. If you come from a poor background, a poor home, where will you get the money to, excuse me, bleach, be on the hill, get certain things, you know, and be flipping things. So when I go in a corner, I say, sir, I can take the level. You wait me at a plot. You can get a car. Like they will flee somebody from Ghana to Dubai to just go and do 30 minutes and come back. Mm. Eh? <laughs> I am a But Akuma, let hmm? me ask you. Uh, when they do this, do they keep the relationship going as one night stand? Oh, if you're not <laughs> serious. You see, if, 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 if you go with me, you should be able to provide my needs. I will not wait for you when you give me excuses, man. Mm. Mm. Because the world is changing. Every day there are new things, mm -hmm. right? This phone, 14 will come, 16 will come, 20 will come. She would want to have it. She want to have it. So if you can provide, she move on. are we married? Mm. No, no. Come on. No. Arabs, what's yes. your take on it? Well, I mean, I didn't realize it was such a growing phenomenon. I oh. Mean, it's, 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 it's an it's open sad. game. I think it's, 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 it's really sad and mm. disappointing because... And there's this suggestion that the youth, well, most young people mm. today, they don't want to get their hands dirty. Mm -mm. They don't want to, like, work mm. and put in the mm -mm. hard work. They want things easily, you know. So it, it's, it's possible that this thing is happening, but how do we stop it? How do we minimize it? Because at the end of the day, <laughs> the main thing they are looking out for is money, mm. right? They are looking for money. Money is what drives this. And so if they don't have money... How else can they make money? That's the question. How else can they make money? By, you know, doing the work. But since they don't want to do the work, put in the effort, it means that we're going to be seeing more and more of this. And it's worrying. You know, one thing I say is that social media is a reason for this hookup. You mm -hmm. know, um, it's, it's, prostitution has been fought over the years trying to get the girls off the streets mm. uh, in order to prevent it from happening. Yeah. And the sad part is that nobody is able to get them off the streets. So unfortunately, the police are standing next to them. When the police, they are tired, they even call them and they go do whatever Thank they you. want to do with them. Hookup is not stopping because of social media. Now, we have so many people on social media who are flaunting wealth that is not theirs, wealth that they didn't even earn it legally. Mm. And the young ones don't know that this is fake life. The young ones don't know that mm. this is it. To the young ones, it is this. Mm -hmm. It is the hookup that is how they're surviving. Mm. I remember, you know, recently there's a lady who has been arrested and nobody even thought mm. that the lady was into that. Mm. Every woman, young girl was thinking that, oh, there's a man who is financing her. Mm -hmm. And so there were young girls who wanted to do what she's doing yes. just because they thought men were financing. Mm. Oh, I want to sleep with this man because mm -hmm. I hear this man is mm -hmm. financing her. Oh, I want to sleep with that man. And they actually pick up their phone and call other people to mm. tell them to link them to ABCD men because oh, yes. these men pay. Mm. And listen, 
uh, these girls are out there looking for the men who pay. They yes. Ask. They ask. As young as they, they are. ask. Mm. And so they'll pick up a phone and oh call you, oh, I heard this man pays. Is your friend? Is it true? And you say, oh, yeah, yeah I know mm. he's dating some girl, but he even pays in dollars. Oh, can you link me? Wow. Yeah. And then you link them. And that's what's happening. And so with social media and what we're seeing on social media, mm. about, unfortunately, it's not going to end anytime soon. What we have to do as parents is probably to encourage our children uh, to pray for them, to talk to them, talk to them. Uh, advise them, to let them understand that what you see on social media is not the real life mm -hmm. and that you ought to work hard for your money. Maybe 80% is not the real life yeah. on social media. Mm -hmm. All right. 80% is not right. It's wrongdoings. Mm. And, and Rose and uh, uh, Akuma, Akuma yeah. uh, to the youth, mm. sometimes if you see someone making it and the person is earning a lot of money, the person drives big cars, mm -hmm. you should find out the source of you know, wealth. the wealth. You understand? Like I mentioned, we are not content. Mm. You see this person making it. And I, I'm, I'm tempted to say that, you know, sometimes you see people and you're, you're like, oh, and they have side jobs. Some of them have <laughs> side jobs. You know, aside there, that now we can confidently say it's prostitution. Mm. Some of them have side jobs. Uh, she's got uh, this cosmetic shop. Oh, that, that one is has, only two. That she has opened. Mm. But that's not what that is that bringing the money. Of her cover. wealth. But it's just a cover-up. Yes. It is not. Because, you see, I, I wonder if it, the place doesn't get tired anyway. It Which does. Which place are you talking about? It does. It does. Please clarify and, and it, it does get tired. I don't want to go there. It, it, it does get old. <laughs> there are teeth in our vagina. There are what? There are teeth in our vagina. There are walls in our vagina. Now, when you put in, out, in, out, Eish, in, out, it wears out. <laughs> You understand? Yes. That is why yes. when you're growing, the doctors will tell you or the midwives will tell you, mm -hmm. you need to do the Kegel exercise. Yeah. Mm. To tighten the to, muscles. To, yeah, to tighten the muscles up. The muscles become weak yeah. because that man is drunk and you are also drunk. Maybe you've smoked or you've sniffed something, okay? And because you need a lot of money, you want to do what you cannot do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My dear, <laughs> they are dying. And hey, for all of you to know, before we talk prostitution was done at night midnight now it is done every time every day mm -hmm. morning mid morning afternoon, afternoon evening mid -afternoon. so every i can, I can it's I, happening I, I can take my bag mm -hmm. dress like a corporate woman like this your dress uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then i'll have my bag and i'll go to do that thing it's happening Wait. And you, you, you can get it across nah, every you job. You have to wear a special dress to go and do something. No, I mean, because some people, some people, the level, you, you is think that this is a corporate really dress. Doing but the corporate some, dress, you no, take it No, the point that she's making is that. You don't get it. They dress as if. Someone wearing a corporate, in corporate attire. Uh -huh. Yes. I think that they would do any such thing. But that's what they do. They do it. Thank you. They do it. This is how it is. Mm. Now this is how it yeah. is. And it's the same way that we had a perception that somebody who doesn't go to church is the only person that goes to the <laughs> juju. No. no. It is the church elders. Yes. They know the Everybody juju men, go. their names. They are WhatsApp. They'll be sitting in church and what's happening the juju men. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. It happens. Interesting. Okay. I think, I think we should go to uh, the studio. Yeah, studio. Yeah. audience and exactly. hear something that they have to say. What do you guys have to say? Who wants to Anyone has been hooked up? Okay. Any hook up amongst us? <laughs> experience okay, so um your I name feel i'm lydia all right lydia in time past um prostitution was something very difficult for someone to come out and say i do prostitution mm -hmm. for a living mm -hmm. but now it is at a doorstep that's right people are there organizing groups for mm -hmm young ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm. to join mm -hmm. yes it can be free for ladies maybe 50 cities for men mm -hmm. and then wow. hundred cities for an, men. an amount Pardon there's me. an amount to it yes. oh yes for the men. ladies the men. ladies are free the men also probably. pay to come and see the beautiful girls yes wow. but so for the right ladies it's free wow. yes prostitution is just at our doorstep you can be sitting at the comfort of your home but you are in a group somewhere where you are exposing yourself to people and they are paying you. You going inside is free whilst men coming in. If you want you to join the group. Why are so bold to do it now? Why? Because it's, it's something they are not ashamed of. They think it's normal. Because mm. right now, because of social media, everything is normal. All the economy like is hard. It's part of it. It's part of it. But yes, they are just branding it. So right now, it's very easy to practice. Mm. I think that is one of the reasons why when you go to Snapchat, 
TikTok. There, mm. there are so many people. So many things. Yes. So like what she said. She said they are now branding it. So it's <laughs> prostitution, but it's branded as hookup. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't mm -hmm. sound so judgmental. Yeah. 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 Rebranding. Rebranding. But it's the same well, thing. It's the same, same thing. thing. Like we have so many ways in killing a cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. We so killed the cat. There's another way to kill. Anybody else? Okay, so about the dressing, mm -hmm. um, I think two years ago, um, there's this Liberia lady. She's been in Ghana for a very long time. The and one with a tiny waist. Sorry? Is that one with a tiny waist? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, no. no put it there so <laughs> she attends church. Okay. When, when she tells you she's into prostitution, it will amaze you. I see. But then she's an usher in the church. Wow. Me that's it. <laughs> okay. But then at night, she goes about her duties. And y when you see her, you would be amazed mm -hmm. because her dressing would probably mm -hmm. tell you that, oh, oh this is the kind of mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. she is. Mm -hmm. And moreover, she's an usher in church. church. So you can't wow. say that the way somebody dress, then. Um, the person is good mm -hmm. or bad. Mm. It's just a cover up. Mm -hmm. I remember, oh, you know, when uh, there was a documentary or the, there was a, uh, an arrest of prostitutes or something, mm -hmm. uh, somewhere last year or last two years, it was done, I think, by Joy News. Mm. And uh, we were trying to find pastors' wives in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There were Some pastors' wives in there who were arrested. They were standing at the roadside. <laughs> yes, prostitutes. At night, pasta yere, or show for mommy. So oh, she's she a human being. That's what I'm saying. So, so we can't. Was she doing it for money, or she was doing it because the husband was not satisfying her? I can't tell. But you see, another thing too is that the men, there's this thing, the escorts. When the big men travel, mm -hmm. they get they organize these young girls for them, and they travel with them. Mm -hmm. They go escort them, mm -hmm. keep their beds warm, mm -hmm. and when they come back, they don't know them again. Yes. And that, that's them. end of story. It's like you've gone to, um, I don't want to mention any particular country, but you've gone as, um, maybe outside the country. Like Qatar. What? <laughs> oh, no. I haven't mentioned anything, right? But what I'm saying, maybe you're out of Ghana, right? Okay. And then she'll tell you, hey, come make love now. And after that, she'll tell you, if you see me say anything, I'm going to shoot you. You know, when it's done, that's end that's of story. It. Tomorrow or in 20 minutes, I don't know you. We haven't met before. Mm. And nothing is coming here. So, some men don't respect the ladies, mm. and some ladies also don't respect the men. You see? Um, so, it's it, just about the sexual they, 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 they have weighed the men. The last. And they know the kind of money, what you can mm -hmm. do. They know you. How? Oh. They are not at the banks. But they can tell you the money you have in your account. Wow. So who, who, who says it? Mm -hmm. Who tells them? Mm -hmm. hmm? Wow. Who says it <laughs> and who tells them? Now, it don't on ask the parents again. It's about time hmm? that we are truthful to them. The wealth itself is not fair. Yep. And it is good for you to get to fall. But when you fall, you will get up. Do you know what I'm saying? So I have seen it before. So you ask my daughter, I'll tell you that, hey, the way this morning, every morning you wake up and you want to, you know, dress up before you come and sweep, that's not how it is. It means <laughs> she or he mm -hmm. has started seeing something. She's getting an interest somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Up to now, me, when you give me food and I'm eating, if I don't finish eating, I can't take my fish or my meat. Mm. But that was the way I was trained. You finish eating before you go for your fish or your chicken or your goat or your money. <laughs> I hope you understand. So I'll finish eating all my meal. Then my food is there. So I don't eat with anybody. <laughs> because when I'm eating with you, you'll be eating and be taking the fish all day. <laughs> and I, I am not like that. You can hide the fish. You, 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 you don't eat with me, don't try it. Don't try it. <laughs> okay. So you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we need to open up to our children. Mm. That is why you have to be ready before you get into it. You I don't get into it and then go back and say, oh, meet me, I know. 
You go to the man, and before that man gives you the money, look, they are not angels. They are not God. They don't fear God. <sighs> and see, your uncle that you're going for him for help will want to break your virginity. Hey. Uncles and aunties and whatever are breaking their own blood's virginity. They'll pass you through. Well. And by the time you get to 18, 20, 21, your body already knows it. Mm -hmm. oh, you, you see, you've, you've become a master on your own. And today we're a pro, Dada. Oh it's my. the pros in the system that is making the hookups go. Yes. We'll take a quick break on this <laughs> note. When we come back, another conversation awaits you. Stay with us.